Dear friends, this is the last time we're getting drunk together because we're damn broke. <laughs> to poverty! <laughs> to poverty! <laughs> This is the tale of the greatest cake that has ever been, the likes of which has never been seen. It's the story of a princess, a knight, a witch, giant, and jester, and let's not forget, a mysterious stranger. Good morning. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Just making food for everybody. Seriously, I don't think I've got any food. I'm really broke. <laughs> Oh, well, that's okay. I have everything I need to make stone cakes. After I'm done, I'll give you some. Okay, good luck with that. It's not luck. There's nothing tastier than stone cake. Of course, stone cake with a few eggs, that's hard to beat. Pun intended? Oh, no. Happy accident. Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah, I think I've got some eggs and stuff. I'll, uh, I'll go check. So we leave our jester confused, but okay, let's see who else has awoke this fine day. So are you. Someone's baking in the kitchen. I have no idea who she is. I can't be bothered with that. I need a sticky. You're baking a cake of stones. You've got to go in there and get rid of them. Scare them with your morning face if you have to. It's too early for this. Into the kitchen the witch now she rides. The truth of a stranger the jester confides. But what will she find when she walks through the door? The lore of this tale, or questions and more? Excuse me? Uh, what on earth are you doing in my kitchen? Making stone cakes for everyone. Yeah, I can see that, but how about who are you and why maybe? So we can eat well and be happy of course. But a stone cake with sugar, that would be magic. Have you got any of that? Sugar? Yeah, I think I do have some. That's surprising. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Did our knight and princess have an evening to remember? Or is it cake they're needing to forget? So that happened. Mm-hmm. This is kind of awkward. Yep. I think she's just like get on with it. I mean, I kind of want the cake now. Well, yeah. I mean, no one says no to cake. It's a bit weird though. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't remember seeing her last night, but... Yeah, hopefully her cooking's better than yours. At least it won't be poisonous this time. <laughs> I hate you. Free cake. That's all right. That's the giant, the house's silent protector, the hero this story deserves, but not the one it needs right now. Let's just pretend this never happened, yeah. Yeah, we'll be all right though. No one needs to know. Maybe we should just go downstairs separately, just in case. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. I'll go first, okay? Okay, go for it.
guess you had a good night then. Oh, how do you know? You couldn't hear us or anything. No. I wouldn't have been able to anyway, like my condition. Mr. thinks he's a hero. He's like high-fiving everyone downstairs. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill him. I actually hate him. How was it? You, in here now! You did a good job of keeping that quiet, didn't you? Well, they already knew if it's any consolation. No, it isn't. A high five is really necessary. Well, no, but, you know. Sounds like you two need some cake. Don't know if you heard, but I'm making some stone cake. We're a bit busy at the moment, if you can't tell. No, not at all. I just, this cake's nearly perfect. I just need some unicorn feathers and 300 mils of essence to be all. What? Do you have any of those here? Actually, I think we might do now. Yeah, I bought some the other day, remember? You said it was a waste, but look who's stupid now, eh? Shut up! And now as the end of the story nears, of the greatest cake that has been for years, I take a sip of victory wine because I'm getting tired of rhyming. Cheers. Our story now over and our heroes have eaten, their ingredients uncovered and taken and beaten, a cake they have made, a purest creation, cemented their friendship on solid foundation. And what do we know of our mysterious stranger, who's shown levels of kindness now almost endangered? Well, nothing had been heard of the mysterious one, who was last seen walking into the setting sun. No one had seen her arrive or be gone, but with our five heroes, her story lives on.